Hi guys, I'm Ricardo Costa and in this video I'm going to show you how to easily make Instagram stories in Adobe Photoshop. So let's start by creating a new document. The sizes for Instagram stories in 2020 are the width to 1080 and the height to uh, 9020. So set the pixels, orientation to vertical, um, set the thick to active in artboard. In Photoshop CX6 you don't have this option, but it's not a problem, you can skip this and hit create. Continuing the resolution 72 dpi, RGB color mode because it's more for web and it create. Let's go into create a new vertical document which will be your Instagram story, but here in your layers panel appears this kind of a group uh, named artboard. And an artboard, it's like this cropped canvas and you can have multiple artboards that all have their own layers on them. It's like they are almost likely folders except that they are on their own separated canvas and that you can have different images for the same file. So we're gonna change the name of our artboard to story1. And now I'm going to insert a photo. I will drag to my document a photo from my folder and it will fit to my canvas as a smart object. Okay, so now I will hold command to scale this up from the center so that will cover all the artboard. I can move it around with the move tool to make a better placement of it and hit enter. Now I am going to grab my text tool and click on my work and start typing something like welcome to my page and now I want to center all this so I grab the move tool I go up here on menu select and hit select all and using my align options I will align my text to center so now let's say that we like this work here and we can now move forward to my next one and edit the text on the next slide. Because on Instagram stories sometimes we have more than one story to show your content and they are like slides uh, each one. And that's what we are creating with these artboards. So I'll click and hold on move tool icon and select uh, artboard tool. And as you can see, it appear uh, now those plus icons over there around our uh, artboard. And if I click them, it will duplicate my artboard, but without information, it will be blank. But I can also uh, hit option and click and drag holding shift also so that the artboard stays aligned. And now I make it duplicated with the same layers as the other one. And I can do it again to create another story and now I have three artboards to export. And this will be our sequence to Instagram stories. So again, uh, let's change the, this text to learn Photoshop easily. Okay, hit command A to select all and align it to the center and hit command D to deselect and it's done our second slide. For the last one, we can change again the text to, let's say, link in bio, for example, or if you have already an account that allows you to swipe up, you can also put, put swipe up. And you can uh, also add a shape layer around it, uh, like a rectangle shape to pop up more this text. You can also adjust the colors and shape properties if needed. Okay, now that you have uh, our sequence, we need to export them to images so that you can upload it to your Instagram account. So let's collapse all the artboards here on our layers panel. Okay, select all by holding the by selecting the first and holding shift to the last one and right click and select export as. It will open this dialog box uh, and here on left you have all your images in the format you currently currently had selected by standard like a gpeg and on the right side you can change the format 
adjust the quality, the size, but let's leave it like that and hit export all. And now if I go to my finders folder, you see that I have the images here and you can simply understand the sequence to upload them to your Instagram account. And that's it. I really hope you learned something in this video. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to write in the comments below. Leave a like on this video and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials. Thank you and see you next time.